I need to understand how these feelings relate to me. The margin for error this game affords is small. It's like, how do I get back to the golf ball? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drop, drop, drop with that shoulder down, down, down. There we go, into the ground. Awesome. <laughs> oh my word. This is moving into flexion yep. as you're going forward. <laughs> that doesn't feel like it's right. That doesn't feel like it should be. Until you know this sequence. You've never really hit a golf ball. No, you've not, no, you've not swung a club really. So we managed to score and we managed to play golf and yeah. we enjoy it, but in we've a never really swung it properly. No, it's a it's This a is amazing. It's amazing. That phrase you use to uh, to find your own swing, your own personal swing, based on my limitations and understanding, my feelings. Your capability. Yeah. What is, yeah. That's what I want. So if it's 200 yards, 225 or 230, don't mind. Mm. As long as it's in play. I tried to get good, Jeff. Try to follow your principles. Let's swing out there. Yeah. But something's not happening with club face and club pad. Mm. It's, it's not, I'm not feeling it or I'm not sensing it. I need to understand how these feelings relate to me. Yes. I see yeah. how they relate to other people. And exactly. I, go, oh, I, can, I can relate to what you're saying and what you're thinking, but I don't experience. I need to experience and my body knows how to organise itself. Yeah. Um, I'd say priority is understanding the sequence. The margin for error this game affords is small. True. True. And we've got to amplify our sensors to a level where those small margins actually feel big. And I know I've got somewhere in the right area because there'll be a couple of tee shots that go out to 230, 235, yeah. effortless, and I know I've got the sequence. Yeah. But my body's not. Like absorbing it enough no, to repeat it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like how do I replicate it? Yes. Where did that swing come from? Absolutely. Well, I know it's sequence and I know I've got it but I'm tapped into that sequence. That Absolutely. Where's the Because when I do it it just it pings off and it's yeah. it's that snap thing you're talking about. Yeah. Nice. That ah, very usable, very acceptable. Is yeah, it my yeah. potential though? Let's find, we'll find out. So what we're going to do first, we're just going to go on the pads. Keep the knees locked and just twist your pelvis. That's brilliant. So the balance pads won't move. So that's what some people perceive to be twisting hips. Right. Okay. It is a form of hip rotation, but it's, it's more isolated and it's lower back and hips. And that's what's moving the pelvis, but it's been driven through the core really. That's fine. What we're going to do is go back on here and we're going to walk on them. So we'll simulate walking, heel to toe, and then with that walking action now, we're going to use that walking action and twist the belt buckle. So now we start to use that walking action to twist the pelvis, and then this is giving you the ability now to use the ground for leverage to speed up and slow down, so you can actually move from side to side, and you can go fast and stop. You can move fast and brace. As you start to work your way through this, the chaos starts to make sense because you're recognising these patterns and how they apply to golf. You're recognising more about yourself and how you can apply yourself. Now standing on the carpet here, use that feeling now to rotate the hips. There we go. Yeah. Again, that's down to your inter it's no. powerful. Pack. Exactly. Up onto the mat for me. No ball, just have a swing in the air. Just fresh air swings, just half swings back and forth. Oh wow. Getting a sense for what there is to use. Wow. Wow. And then play a few shots. We're not concerned about the ball whatsoever, okay. it's just you exploring body movement. It's going to feel so weird. Yeah, it's like, how do I get back to the golf ball? Yeah, there? yeah, I don't care. Exactly. No, exactly. That'll come. You're not interested. No, no, that'll come. The reinvention is underway. Good. Hey! -hey. Yeah. Cool, right now we're going to jump on the board. Uh oh. So what goes down can go up, so what goes there and then stand up. This is an exaggerated version. Yeah, okay. What's, What's going to be going on? I've never felt before. Brilliant. To get the rotation through the body, you're extending. And when you extend, you also create a braking force because you've hit end range. Whereas if this stays in flexion, you could keep going and then losing balance and I can't decelerate. So everything starts moving as one. Well. Whereas if as soon as I extend, that's now stable, this can fire. Yes. 
and as one segment passes or one joint passes speed through to the next, that joint stabilises, this becomes mobile. I've never felt this no. is a golf no. You've not had this in your golf swing. You've not had this vertical displacement. No, I haven't. I've been trying to control rotation by yeah. keeping everything. Yeah. yeah. Good. I'll say it now, different feel. <laughs> That's very different, yeah, I guess. Yeah, totally. Honestly, totally it is, yeah, of course it is. And I've been watching your videos, and I've seen you talk about this, but I need to be here for you to say. So while you're going down and shifting, that takes time. The club's still back there, so this yeah. is time. And then you start to go up, and now the club goes. Whereas if you've not got this loading phase, or an efficient loading phase, your club's coming down as you're loading to the ground, you've got no time. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. Drop, drop, drop with that shoulder down, down, down. There we go, into the ground. And, and then, then you can extend. Spring. Yeah, you can let the whole body wow. drop. Wow. The more you go down, the more you can go up. Yes, that's oh. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. It's going to be so alien. Well, it feels like it's ages before the club is. Yeah, yeah it exactly. It's giving you mass, masses yeah. of time. I feel like you're done. Yeah. So the snaps later, it's kind of there. Exactly. So when the snaps later, what? That's yeah. lag. Bing. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, Does it look like an exaggeration? So you, you'll see on the video. Like what we're going to do, I want you to go out here and see what this actually equates to. Well done. Well, that felt, I know it wasn't complete, but it felt like a different strike. Well done. Okay, one more. So, timing wise, we're going to do a little exercise. All I want you to do, so we're going to go jump, swing, jump, swing. So, these swings are in two different places. Instead of it being like this, that's not the yeah. golf swing, it's this. This right. is the golf swing. Okay. So, there's a movement this way and a swing up, and then a movement this way and a swing down. Nope, too soon. Let's get more active. This is a pat in your stomach. It is. it is. Exercise is so counterintuitive. So if you were going to throw a ball, this is moving into flexion yep. as you're going forward, ready to then use the ground, rotate, and then that can extend and transfer all that speed. When you're throwing it so late. Yeah. It is really late. We're going to go together, so we're going to go. Now watch me. All right. Let it come, then it goes. Let it come with you. The club's coming with you. And then it's then let it go, well. yes. That is going to feel so late. Yes. That's ah, it. Right. There you go. Right. Right. right, right, right. Now you've got the pendulum here. Right. And you've got the pendulum yes. here. Okay. No, you'll get it. Keep going. That's it. Ah, come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, is it stopping? Oh, there you go. Is it stopping? Yeah, it feels that's, like a, that's awesome. Is that right? Change of direction. That doesn't feel like it's right. That no. doesn't feel like it should be. Now without the ball, just have some swings. Just back and forth in the air. See how it feels. Oh, man. Keep your grip pressure firm. Don't lose that okay. grip. Keep it firm. I'm no trying to convince myself it's the right thing yeah. to do. It feels so it's, alien. It's unnerving at first it because it's like, this is so late, am I going to hit the ball? Is the club going to do what I think it's going to do? So this is exactly where we need to yes. be. We're letting the club now react to us. So you're now you're extending down much later oh, man. here. That? Yes, there Never you go. Never felt that before. That's it, look at that. Never felt that before. Yes, <laughs> brilliant. Wow. Wow. That's your lag. Wow, it was, yeah, that was my lag. But you're wrong, Marcus, because you create lag <laughs> by holding on to this angle. Don't you know that? You hold I need to, on I need to, to go angle. back to the. <laughs> I need to go back to school. Oh man! Now I can feel this, the weight of this thing. I can feel where it is. The trouble is, no matter how many videos you watch and all that stuff, most of us mid handicappers have never experienced a proper golf swing in our entire life. Even when we get that effortless one, it's maybe not the right thing. Mm. Until you know this sequence. 
you've never really hit a golf ball. No, you've not, no, you've not swung a club. Really. So we managed to score, and we managed to play golf, and yeah. we enjoy it, but in we've a never fashion. really swung it properly. No, it's a, it's this a fashion. This is amazing. It's amazing. It's going to be so much later. So you're channeling your energy. So much later, it's that yeah. impulse. Okay, you want me to hit this thing now? Yeah, we'll have you? a few shots. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Well done. I've never hit a golf ball like before. That was unbelievable. I didn't put anything on it. No. It was the divot was brilliant. It was, it was after the ball. We're gonna do that drop. Look at that. Shot. Beautiful. <laughs> Completed golf. You have, yeah. <laughs> Completed it, mate. So different, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's extraordinary. See the curve, so you swing into the curvature. Yes, okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. Well played, that was awesome. Well played. Shot. Well played. Oh my word. Really I was looking over there. <laughs> Yeah. So this is great because you're getting used to now swinging that way, but then watching the golf ball go this way. Yeah, yeah. It's like kicking a ball, your body's going that way, but then you're going to watch it with your yeah, eyes go this yeah. way. So you're used to your movement going one way and the actual yeah. result going the other way. This is all calibrating movement to ball flight. So you start to develop a feel for a, what a big draw is and where your body is. If I'm making a big turn here, it means my body must be over here. A small turn means, my, means I've been swinging this way because I've yeah. hardly got to move my head. The more you're going to be moving your head, to look, the more you're playing for a big curvature. So you start to recognise all these things. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm really starting to feel it. And do you know what? I know it's, it feels extreme, but it's feeling more yeah. natural. Yeah. Every toolbox. Better. Awesome. Better. Sure. Sure. We're going for a pretty big draw. We're going to hit the ball intentional. It doesn't matter if it goes through there or not. Through there okay. and draw it, which means the path needs to be way out there over here yeah, it does. and by the time you're sensing this after the ball your face will be over here so you're separating the two and the ball does this awesome <laughs> sure <laughs> oh my so word. if you don't have the concept of where the clubs go in how can your arm possibly do this if you're swinging this way you came with a pretty nice swing it's just a different version of it. So how does this relate to the big dog then? Do you want to yeah, grab it and we'll have a go? Same principles? Yeah, just a shallower swing. As the shaft steepens, your face will go yeah. to the right, shallower to the left. Yeah. If we get too steep with the driver, the face yeah. is harder to rotate the face from here. So the angle, if you take your grip, it's going to be coming from around here. Wow. Wow. So you waggle, it's right this in. space. Awesome. Shot. Sure. Dead straight, look. Oh, yeah, Dead yeah. Draw. Purely by asking that question, yes. where did that go? Yes, you might have just missed it, but also it probably went in a different direction to what yes. you might perceive yeah, that yeah. swing to produce. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we want to be feeling like we're swinging over here. So it's lower, flatter behind you. All Good. right, okay. So you see the shape you get? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, I totally get it. Like hitting the drive over a cover point in cricket. Yes. Yeah. Get out there. Awesome. Okay. Not exactly where, but that was the one. That's sure. better. That's better. That's a beautiful fly. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Right. Now I've got a feel for it. Now I've got a feel for it. I've never hit a driver like that before. That's it! There you go. What a shot. That's the one. If I can do that round two balls, every tee shot, I'll be awesome. Uh, right. Happy with that, mate? Uh, unbelievable. It Brilliant. totally lived up to everything I expected. Awesome. Fantastic. I, I so. just kind of detected in your videos, there's kind of like, there's things I don't know. Yeah. And it would appear a lot of your clients didn't know them either. Mm. And, you know, I'm looking at high handicappers. Yeah, yeah. But once they get it, they're not high handicappers anymore. They're no. looking like they, they can hit a golf ball. So Yeah, learning the fundamentals. Yeah, yeah. These are the true fundamentals, really. Yeah. But the one the thing that really surprised me was the extremity. Yeah. The extremity of motions that you need to do. And so 
it's like a workout really as totally well. but the it's key one was exploring your movement this i mean i've watched you do the stuff with the rotation things and oh you'd stand up to snap yeah blimey i didn't realize it's you know, how it's much like you have to do it in. yeah and then immediately you feel the effect it has on this and spot on well done, mate. revelationary brilliant well done on um Sky, a Luke Skywalker day. <laughs> Fantastic. Obi-Wan Kenobi day. <laughs> May the 4th.